got him. We got him. Looks like he's still breathing. Finally. After all this time, <laughs> it's over. But no. Not here in the mist and the mud where no one knows you're gone. A proper trial and execution. Back in Bilgewater. Sarah. If I put this tyrant to the sword in front of the whole city, the Syndicate will never challenge me again. A just punishment. Now is not the time to plan Gangplank's execution, Sarah. The ruined king has escaped. Thresh said the king would roam across the world, leaving destruction in his wake. The city is in danger. We must leave now. What's this? the ruined king's memories i could feel his his rage his hurt his twisted love he's ashamed of the truth isold his wife at the end she was afraid of him but he won't stop shouting about how much she needs him <laughs> it's a lie he's telling to himself a secret he keeps imprisoned in a forgotten corner of his heart. We don't have time to solve some Misty King's emotional problems. Let's get back to the ship and throw Gangplank into the brig. Oh, the charming lady. Everyone aboard? Anyone got eyes on the King? He's hard to miss. There's a huge black cloud on the horizon between us and Bilgewater. If Thrush was right about one thing, it's that time is our biggest enemy now. We must hurry to Bilgewater. Anyone have any bright ideas? Maybe. I could channel the wind, bring it to our aid. As I have before. I could support you, feed you energy, if, for a time, removing your body's natural limits. It is not something I have done before, but I believe it possible. Sounds crazy. Must be why I like it. Let's get the party started. The port are in you speed us across the sea to our enemy, I shall speak to the foe nearer at hand. <laughs> Good luck with that. Gangplank was spouting all kinds of nonsense when I locked him up. Alawi, you did this once and you regretted it. Alawi. <laughs> Come to gloat, have ye? You tried to trade your soul for power, but now look at you. Sarah Fortune will execute you when we return to Bilgewater. Well, I said I'd do anything to get Bilgewater back. So that's what I did. Anything. <sighs> It was a... it was a bad bet, I admit. Thresh promised me the Black Mist. He said I could stop the Harrowings, or turn the Mist against my enemies. All I had to do was defeat the Ruined King in a battle of wheels. <sighs> but... I lost. You may have doomed us all with your bad bet. I should have had you around to keep me straight, I suppose. 
You cannot be serious. Whatever we had together, Gangplank, it is over. You know the Buru ways. Mortals must change and grow to satisfy our goddess. But you never change. You and Sarah are both trapped in the same prison. This fight over Buildswater will kill you both and drag the rest of us down with you. I've been trying to change. After Fortune attacked me, I abandoned my pride. When they pulled me from the water and brought me to you, I wanted to be judged. I wanted to know if there was something left in me that mattered. When I was staring death in the face, you were the first thing I thought of. Maybe the only thing. You have been in my thoughts as well. I cannot stop thinking what a fool I was to save a man who would ally himself with Thresh. I have questioned every moment since the Mother Serpent judged you worthy. I thought the path she set me down was broken. Or oh, that I was. Redeem yourself. You were closest to them, to Thresh, to the Ruined King. Help us. You choose silence. Then I will gladly help Fortune execute you. No. You're right. I can do more to help. This amulet. Thresh told me it has the power to absorb the Black Mist and trap the Ruined King. But your will's gotta be strong to make it work. Stronger than his. <sighs> What drives this ancient king? Why is his will so strong? Love. He seeks his wife. They perished young, caught in the ruination. But Thresh knew a secret that would shatter the king's will. He never shared it with me, though. I should have asked. No need. I think we have discovered it. Ari channeled the king's memories. His love for his wife wasn't always a pure and beautiful thing. It seems the king hides the sour, twisted parts of his love from even himself. Like another man I could mention. <laughs> Does the amulet still work? It doesn't shine as it did when you used it on the Shadow Isles. When the ruined king attacked me, it was uh, corrupted. But don't ask me how to fix it. You've got to figure that out yourself. In a battle of wills, you must know that I shall give this amulet to Sarah Fortune. I figured you would. Her will is strong. I thought you'd do anything to destroy her. I would, but... Bilgewater needs protection. When I was with Thresh, I would have gladly ruled over a heap of bones. But now, by the goddess Alawi, someone's got to save that place. I want to rule over a city with people in it. And that amulet isn't safe to use. It got me. It might get her too. Which would save me a step. <laughs> If you manage to survive the punishment you've earned, perhaps you are worthy after all. You just tell Fortune she won't be executing me. I still have a few tricks left. Everyone on deck! Looks like we caught up to our king. So this is what you face. This power... It's terrifying. Isles. I am getting tired of shipwrecks. But at least this one was with friends. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in one piece? It'll take more than that to send me back to the deep. Even Gangplank washed up alive. 
No thanks to these chains. <laughs> They're not coming off, murderer. Throw him back in the brig, please. I cannot stand here chatting. The ruined king is getting away. Don't worry, Alawi. We'll repair the ship and get after him. How can we catch up in time? His power is immense. If he reaches Bilgewater, it'll be the end. In the ship, Gangplank gave me this artifact. It can absorb the ruined king. But now, shipwrecked, failing this close to victory, has the goddess forsaken us? Now we stop. It's no time for self-doubt. My men will patch up the ship and we'll get back to Bilgewater. There's something strange here. Yasuo? The wind here feels strange. It makes me... uneasy. In what way? I can't say. As if it's whispering something. Trust your instinct. It will guide you well. My instincts tell me I don't want to be here. Do you not feel it? Something here calls from behind. <laughs> Yanni comes out of I hiding. I think it's best if I take a moment to speak to him alone. Also, do you need some rest? You've not had a moment since you used your abilities on the ship. I'm fine. I can sense great unease from you. Pain. Something about this place is making it worse. When we met, you asked me what I was running from. I dodged the question, but the truth is... I've been running for a long time. Years ago, I was falsely accused of killing my master. Yone, my brother, hunted me down. And when he found me, I killed him. I've heard the humans tell this story back in Ionia. All of Ionia knows my story by now, but everyone has their own version. None of them make me look good. In the real story, Yone found some purpose in the spirit realm. His spirit lives on, and the pain I caused him. It lives, too. Yasuo. I know what it's like to live with that regret. Once, I had a human lover. But I lost control. I consumed his memories. I thought I was a monster. Uncontrollable. But on this journey with you, I'm learning that isn't true. <sighs> The wind's howling, calling me forward. Let's return to the group. You get yourselves in order? There's something here, on the island. I think we need to find it. Ari. No more running, right? Well, we've got time to kill. Let's look into this mystery wind. Let's go. Mysterious interludes. I like it. Oh. That's oh, so why I have to. Oh, okay. Well, crap. I. Dang. Um. Well, that changes things. I'll just do... I mean, I had Pike set for crit anyway. It sucks because I really want to keep with the whole damage over time thing. But it's fine. Let's just... Really quickly. Uh, I'll go ahead and make a new, like, setup. Trust me, it won't be that crazy. Just one second. Alright, I'm back. Like I said, I didn't do... I didn't do a whole lot. But I did... 
Um, I figured, okay, if we're using Yasuo, uh, I usually make him a bit of a crit bot, right? I give everyone crit. So, I made it to where I have Misfortune using all of her crit stuff. Like, crit chance, ignites on crits, more damage on crits, crit, crits, crits, everything crits. So, she doesn't have any crit items, because honestly, I only have really one set of crit things. So, she still has, like, max damage, and so does Ari. I haven't changed her items. Uh, so, on that regard, they won't have as much crit as they could. Uh, but I also I give Ari... Next when she gets essence that's on a crit, one crit chance, crit chance, uh, crit chance reach ignited enemy. Uh, and then the rest is just essence stuff and heal. Um, Yasuo is just like last time, except I went full crit. I, I gave him his 3% crit chance thing back instead of going for the uh, crit damage like I did last week. Uh, but interesting, what's cool is the new passive upgrades. Uh, I already looked at Yasuo's fortunes and Ari's because I was making the thing, which I didn't change Ari's abilities. I, I just gave the extra point into her shield because I'll be blocking a bit more. Uh, but I did give Misfortune and Yasuo an upgrade from their passives. Uh, but first, I want to go through the new passive stuff because there's some I've not seen and I want to see them. So tier three for Alawi. Pickles will regenerate on overcharge per hit. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not, that's not bad. And start battle with three tentacles. Wow. Okay, that's really strong. Dang. Okay. Wow. All right, Brom. His I never use his passive that much because it's just when he's casting he takes less damage. But whatever. Uh, as three stack of concussion to attackers that hit Brom. Okay, that's that's neat. And we can do the music hit Brom. Oh man. All right. Yeah. Still probably won't be caring too much about this, but whatever. Yasuo is, is pretty neat. Uh, you can remove the crit damage penalty because uh, usually it's reduced by 20%, but then you can... It says crit damage reduced by 1%, but it's, it, it's wrong. It should be zero because it actually does give me 20% back. Yeah, so he gets... Basically, it just says gives 20% crit chance damage, which I'm pretty happy about. And then I could also make it to a flow that carries over between battles, which is pretty cool. But it's flow is something I don't really like work with. It just kind of happens, so I don't really do much about it. It's still really cool though. Misfortunes. Uh, I, you can make it to where what is she's at max stretch? She gets 15% of attack power, which is honestly really strong, especially if you actually use guns blazing a lot. Like that's really strong. But I have it to where it generates 10 overcharge for everybody, the entire team, at the start of the battle, which I think is really cool. Like that, that sounds dope. That sounds really dope. Um, and then for our, or, oh, Pike, let's see what Pike says. I don't know what Pike says. Pike's bleed and poison takes poison. Ooh, that's good. That, that, that works so well for what, the, the, what I was just doing with him. Ah, oh, man, I'm sad. All right, and then Pike will always. Ooh, I like that. That's strong. Okay, dang. Always in stealth. Let's go. Or like starts in stealth. Doesn't always stay in stealth. And then Ari's, she can begin the battle, or when she uses a full stack of essence stuff, start with three stacks, which I think is dope. Because that basically means you only have to get six every time, and. It this makes you start with three. She has the passive that starts with three from her runes. And then if you hit somebody, like if, if it's just like a hallway battle, if you hit them with Ari's orb at the start, you can start with an extra two. So you can start a fight with eight out of nine. And then once you use it, like that next turn, most likely, you, you start back at three, which I think is it's really strong. Or you can make it to where once you have full stacks of essence theft, you get two uses of it. Like it, it does it for the next two casts instead of the next one. Frankly, I don't know what's better. I really don't. But they're both really strong.
Honestly, there's arguments for both. But right now, I'm not using any of them. Sorry. Alright, but now I can show you what I've changed. Uh, I, like I said, I didn't change Ari's abilities at all. I just gave her an extra bit of physical damage reduction on her block because we'll be using that. Uh, Misfortune, I gave... I didn't change any of her stuff either. I probably should because I don't think damage over time and crit really mesh. But honestly, I don't. I, I, it'll be fine. I don't think it's gonna be that bad. Um, yeah, I gave the overcharge and then Yasuo. Uh, I wanted to use his raging winds because if he has a 67 on base, he gets 25% from this. Not to mention that 30% anytime he attacks, he's gonna have like basically guaranteed crits. So Raging Winds, I can max it out, right? Like, not to mention I gave it to where this gets 35% additional chance to crit. So, like, just using it, like, level 1, or, like, without doing anything, it should crit. So, I do the crits, apply, apply bleed, and then just max the crit. Partially, or honestly, I want to do the increased damage and damage, but, like, I just don't know. You know what, let's try it. Let, let's go for this right now. And then if I use either wind in combat, that should give me 25. Alright, so that's 92% if I don't attack at all. So like that, that's, yeah, that's pretty, okay, you know what, how about this, how about this, how about this. Let's do 10%, that means if I use the eye the wind this will guarantee get me that fix that seventh hit no matter what I think, I think that's probably the best bet here and then I have a, a couple things on Gale strike because it will actually give Ari and misfortune a couple things of crit if they attack whatever I have Gale strike set on plus it's just I, I think Gale strike single target versus like with with shredder and misfortune just sounds like a lot of fun um, and then his stuff is like he. Get, I made it to where it gets Steel Tempest and a, an extra damage on my Raging Winds. I know it'll be slow, but I I wanted to give it a shot. And that's the team.